Okay, so after we've selected the help from the assistant, we may now notice that every part, every section of our article has been divided in paragraphs, as we can see now. And the Markalik system has a new tool that it's a quotation assistant where we have to select the section that we're working on and click on the quotation assistant. This will give us a brief window where we have to read all the instructions that are told to us so the inference can be corrected. Now we'll accept the hop of the assistant and as we can see now it has made most of the inferences for the different quotations that we have in the text. Now we can see that in this case it hasn't made the internal link to one of these references. So we'll click on the internal link button and find which of the references is needed. We'll insert set quotation and apply to it. We'll apply all the quotations that are not auto automatically inferred by the assistant. So we'll insert them and now we can see that it has made all the different references that we need. It also makes the different notes of the article. It makes the internal links to them. So we can see that we have all of them. Now, the Markalik system also allows us to insert formulas or equations to our text. In this case, we have equation number one. And as we can see, it inserted as a paragraph the identifier of set formula. We only need to delete the text of equation number one. And in this box of paragraph, we'll click on it and select the button equation. Now, we need to tag the identifier of set equation, which in this case, it's on the lower left of the article. And we can upload it as an image or as a formula. We'll now upload it as an image. We'll click on the image box and select the gallery button. We'll choose the images, which will open our browser for the computer. We'll select set image and upload it. Once we have uploaded, we select the insert tab, click on it and accept the importation of our image. Now that we have it, we need to make the internal link to our equation. So we'll select it and create the internal link to it. We'll select from the different tabs that we have here, the equations, and here we see the image that we have uploaded. We'll insert it, and as you can see, it has made the correct internal link to it. Now, we also can make infer or we can also make a paragraph with a quotation, a direct paragraph of a quotation. So we all only need to delete the text that has appeared as a paragraph, select the box and add the quotation attribute of this particular quotation, of this particular quote quotation. Now that we've done it, we can see that we have a list on our right side, but on the left side it, had, it has made it as a paragraph. We can correct it by deleting the elements that are not needed, and on the first paragraph of this list, we'll delete the text, select the box, and click on the toolbar on the list attribute. We can add a title of the list if the list has one. If it doesn't, it doesn't need to have a title. So we'll select on it, click on the list and select the type of list that we need. In this case, it's an ordered list, but we have different types of list in case we need them. We'll select the first item without the number, starting from the opening question mark to the closing, to the closing one, click on the list again and click on the item again to select the second item of our list. 
We'll do the same process for every item of our lists if it has more than two. Now that we've done it, we have a table. This table, we need to eliminate all of the elements that are not needed and are not inferred as part of the table and are selected as paragraphs. So we'll get rid of them and we're gonna have this box which allows us to tag our tables as a text table or as an image table. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll select the text table so you can see the process. As you can see, once you've selected the box, it has made a button of import table, so we'll click on it. And now the table has been transferred to our document as a text table that, are, that is now embedded in the article. And it has made the internal link to it, which will also come in handy for the next step, which is the products of Markalik. We can also select the source of our table and we can continue now with tagging our graphics or images that we need. In this case we have the figure number one where we can select the image box, then open the gallery and upload the next image. We'll choose the image from our computer, upload it, and then insert it as another element. As we can see, it has made the internal link to it. And we can select and erase all of the attributes that are not needed and add the things that we need. For example, the search we are already finished with the tagging of this article which will save now the progress and end this part of the tutorial where we can see the next products of Margalik. when you've selected that you do not want to upload the pdf file or you do not have the pdf file for your article Markalik will tell you to select one of the two formats of pdf file that it creates so you can choose whatever suits the look of your journal best. Now we'll accept it and go to the download bay. Now, if you have selected not to receive the assistance of the Markalix system, you need to tag all the text of your article. We'll commence by selecting the title of the first section. We'll click on the box title and select set title. As you can see, it's, uh, it has a formatting with the bold letter. So to give it the format that it needs, we need to click and select. And it appears a bar where we need to add the formatting that it needs. It can be bold, italics. Uh, underlined subscript or superscript or you know to change the casing of this case uh, the text and delete the paragraph of formatting now once we have done this we need to select the next box that is its paragraph and we'll begin by clicking and dragging all the way the cross all the way across the section which in this case is section number one. The Markalik system separates each one of the paragraphs in its individual box and now we need to make the internal links to the different references that we've made. So we'll select the first reference and click on the internal link button find the, find the reference that we need and insert it. We'll do the same with all of the with the rest of the references that are contained in the text. For the purposes of this tutorial this article does not have all the references that are in the original article but you need to put all of the quotations 
that are shown in your text. This is why we ask you to follow the order of articles data and references appendices and in the end select the full text. Now for the notes as you can see we have the number we need to format it with a supper uh, with a supper script and select the internal link. Now we need to go to the notes tab and click on the first note. Once we have done this we insert it and we'll do the same with the note number two. We superscript it, create the internal link and insert it as another quotation. Now this will be made with all of the sections of our article so we'll need to go to the full text tab, click it and, and add another section. We'll click on it and add the same, the title of the next section of our article and then the paragraphs. As we can see this paragraph has a equation in the middle of it so we'll add it in order to have it as our article shows it. We'll click on the section box and add the equation on the toolbar clicking on the equation button. We'll select the identifier that this equation uses which is equation 1. We have two ways of adding a formula. We can add it as a formula or we can add it as an image. We'll add this one as an image. So we'll click on the image box, click on the gallery, choose the image that corresponds to this equation. So we'll click on it, upload it, and insert it as an image. We'll click on it, accept it, and there you have the first equation. We now can create the internal link to set equation where we'll go to the equation step, click on the formula and insert it. Now that we've done this, we'll continue with the next paragraph of our information. So we'll click on the section part of the box and select the option paragraph on the toolbar and start selecting again the paragraphs that are in our article. Now this particular article has a formula that is embedded in the text so we'll delete the import image and add the in-text formula by going to the toolbar on the in-text formula and insert it as an as a tag. This will take us to the formula creator where we have two tabs. One where we can format it and the other one that has all the elements and variables that we need to create an equation. To create this one we'll select the first box that appears on the screen and find the operator that helps us in this case which is a radical. So we'll select it, we'll delete all the information that we don't need which is the left sided box and on the first right box we'll select the variables that we need in this case which is the letter B, the operator of which is the minus sign and then again the operator B. Once we have done this we insert the equation and as you can see, the equation is now on the text of our paragraph. There are other quotations that are in our text, so make sure to tag all of it. As I said earlier, this particular article does not have all the references to save us some time. So now we'll proceed with a quotation. And as you can see, we can now click again on the section part of our paragraph and insert the quotation element. We'll select all the text that comes with the quotation and click again on the section part to add another paragraph to continue with the tagging of our section number two. Once we have done this we need to get out of our section two, click on the full text tab 
and add another section which is section number three we'll select the title and the corresponding paragraphs that it needs now we have a list we'll click on the section part of our article and select the list option in the toolbar where we can add a list this this attribute allows us to put a title on our list but it doesn't have it now so we don't need to put it on the list we'll select the type of list that we need which is an ordered one in this case but we also have another's but we also have others other types of lists now we'll select the first item of our list and add the next item by clicking on the list box and adding another item we'll select it and and we can continue adding different items as long as our list needs it in this case it only needs two items but we can add as much as we need now we need to add another subsection in this case which is the 3.1 so we'll go to the tab subsection and add the title of this new subsection we'll click on it and add the corresponding paragraph this is another subsection which is not within the first subsection so we'll go again to the section part of our article and add another subsection we'll add the title and the paragraphs that are needed now we have a table so we have to go again to the subsection part and add a table or chart we'll click on it and notice we can add all the different items that are needed to identify our table so we will add the identifier in this case table 1 the title of the table we can also add notes and the source of our of our table so we'll select all the items that correspond and that are visible in this table we have two ways of adding a table as an image or as a text table for the purposes of this particular uh, tutorial we'll import it as a text table so we'll click on the import table once we have clicked on the text table it will create a little button which allows us to import the table as a text element which is now embedded within the text of the article once we have done this we'll create the internal link to the table select the tables tab on our window and as you can see it has now made the internal link we'll select again the paragraph of this subsection and add another paragraph which continues with the text of this subsection and add now a figure or a chart to add this chart we'll click on it and add the figure attribute in this part of the text we'll put the identifier and the title of our chart we can also select the search and add the image that corresponds to this chart so we'll upload it and insert it as another image just as we did with the previous formula now that we've done it we make the internal link to it by clicking on the figures tab and inserting it once we've done this we go again to the subsection part and add another paragraph once we've, we're done with this part of the subsection we'll add the section number four which again requires us to add the title and the corresponding paragraphs of the section number four and finally we'll add the section number five once we are sure that all of the references 
have been internally linked and the URLs or other links have been correctly made, we can save our progress and finish the process of tagging the main text of the article. Now, there are some inconsistencies that may be found within the tagging of the article, so we'll have to review them and are highlighted in the corresponding table, in the corresponding tab, in a yellow are highlighted in yellow. So we'll see which ones are that lack a link. As it appears, it has warning one, warning two, references as no internal link. So we'll have to find again in the full text the references that are missing and make the corresponding internal links to it. We'll insert each and every one of our references and once we have done this we need to save it again and then finish the process. When we selected that we wanted that Margalik made our PDF file, it will show us what type of PDF file we wanted to use. So we can select one of the two options that are presented and we'll accept it, which will now lead us to the downloading page.